What is biological essentialism? Biological essentialism does not define a person by a trait they possess, but rather refers to the idea that a person's nature is determined by their biology. Hello and welcome to Biological Essentialism is a Scam and we should not be using our imperfect understanding of early humans to influence our modern understanding of gender roles. In fact, I would go so far as to say that it is our modern gender roles that influence our understanding of early humans. Today's example of this is that we are increasingly discovering that the men are hunters and women are gatherers idea is a total myth. And here is a study that you can look up on NPR. The view that men are hunters and women are gatherers has been used to make the case that men and women today should stick to these supposedly natural roles. Evidence that early women were also hunting has been there all along, but of course we refuse to see that when it doesn't fit our patriarchal narrative. What did we find? We found that women had their own toolkits. They had their favorite weapons. Grandmas were the best hunters of the village. Yes, our little grandmas. The majority of cultures for whom hunting is important train their girls and their women to make their tools and go hunting. It's always been obvious to me that early humans did not organize their society by gender in the way that we assume because it makes no sense for efficiency and survival and food security. Instead, it's more likely that we're seeing what's going on in this page here, which is that we have these preconceived patriarchal ideas based on modern patriarchy that men are more violent because they're a hunter. When in reality, we use the idea that they're naturally hunters to excuse their violence. And you'll see down here, this important part right at the bottom, by the same token, this idea that somehow women are naturally preordained to be caretakers and maternal figures, whether they like it or not, often underlies policies that enforce that. Isn't it convenient for patriarchy to perpetuate the idea that women are in a position of service to men and that men get to be violent, destructive, proactive and go out there and take on the world. This is why I always say be so careful about biological essentialism when it comes to gender roles. We don't even know that early humans cared about gender or assigned gender enough to then also assign roles and tasks based on that. And we certainly shouldn't be using that to dictate gendered behavior today. For example, saying that a person is good at math because they are Japanese that Hispanic people are better suited for manual labor than other races, or that tall people are naturally inclined to play basketball, are all examples of biological essentialism. Acknowledging biological traits, such as that black people have melanated skin, that type 1 diabetics have pancreases that don't produce insulin, or that women are of the sex that produces ova, are not examples of biological essentialism. If bioessentialism was going to free women, it would have already done so well, no, that's not what biological essentialism means. Biological essentialism is a belief that certain social roles are essential to certain groups of people because of their biology. So, for example, women can give birth, therefore women's social role is to be mothers. Saying that women are adult human females is not a biological essentialist definition because it makes no statement about what women's roles should be socially. In the past, before feminism, if you ask someone to define a woman, they would describe a social role. They would say that women are the fairer sex, they're passive, submissive, belong in the home. What feminism did was introduce the idea that women's role does not have to be traditionally socially defined. That all being a woman is, is the very neutral, physical, material fact of being female. It's the most progressive definition. When trans rights activists claim that anyone can identify as a woman, what they refer to is the ability to identify with certain stereotypes, such as femininity. If you consider women to be inherently feminine, then you could easily mistake acknowledging biology as reducing a person to that capability. However, stating that women produce ova does not reduce them to reproductive ability. It simply acknowledges that this is a trait that all women share, regardless of if they do reproduce.